Hey guys, Steph Roberts here, digital marketing strategist, podcast host, and I wanted to talk to you today because it's Monday. Some people call it Mindset Monday, and it is almost the end of October, and October is one of those months where there are two things that are near and dear to my heart. One, it's Mental Health Awareness Month, and I have long battled depression and mental health type stuff, probably since I was about nine years old. So I really have a lot of sympathy for people and empathy for people managing and dealing with that kind of thing. And I've been in and out of some dark places even in recent years. I'm in a pretty good place today and that's probably why I'm doing this. The second thing is it's Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And I, because I did just come out of a darker phase, I haven't said too much about this and it's definitely everywhere in the news. It's a topic that should be a focus, um, but sometimes there are no words really. Um, one of my podcasts is about that subject and I've talked to many survivors and um, yeah, I think sometimes you just have to wait and see where things settle before you step forward and say, something specific but today what I want to say is more around the mindset piece which I think contributes to both mental health and people coming in or in stuck in or getting out of domestic violence and emotionally abusive relationships and so this is not meant to be gloomy this is actually kind of just an awareness thing that I've noticed and I and I'm catching myself today so today what I'm talking about is the way we use this word just and we use it in this really minimizing way and I was listening to someone earlier today and she was in this group that I'm in and she runs the group and it's for all um, women who are you know self-employed or have a side hustle doing different things and many of us are moms and she's talking about this just saying you know your, what your role and identity are and what what your purpose is and I don't know that she heard this herself, but I am very aware of it because I just joined a group called Bus the Just. Let me see if I get that right. It's called, yeah, hold on a second. I want to make sure that I get the name. It's a Facebook group. Yeah, the Just Busters group, and it's for female podcast editors. And I'm a video and an audio editor, and I joined this group. And... I'm just really, again, did it again. I'm very aware of this word just because we t we use it sometimes, it's appropriate, but other times we're using it to minimize something that we've accomplished, worked very, very hard at, um, and it completely minimizes it. And so here's some examples of what we say. So I'm just a mom. I'm just a blogger. I'm just a podcast editor. I'm just an entrepreneur. I'm just um, fill in the blank, right? Something related to your career. Um, and then the other way that we use it is when we're getting ready to do something really big, like I'm just going to write a book. I'm just going to launch a service. <laughs> I'm just going to learn this new program or software, which by the way, takes a really long time to master but we're saying it as though it's not a big deal it might take us a year to write a book it might take us three months it might take us two weekends with days and days in between or whatever like that's all we're doing but we we have this way of minimizing what we're doing and I am so guilty of this and I I was really I've been through some Last year was not a great year for me and then I was coming right out of it and I was in this great place in April of this year launching a new service and I hit a wall and between May and September I was probably in one of the darkest places I've been in a really long time and it was a very slippery slope and it and it really eclipsed major dark moments like the death of my mom who was very close to divorce, troubles with my kids miscarriages I mean it was bad but it was so bad that it actually woke me up to how much how much I have control and power over my own destiny and how much language and the way that I phrase things 
matters to the way that I see myself and the stories that I tell myself. So today I'm talking about that little word just, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. This little word, here it is. This is what it looks like. This is, this is just, this is what it looks like. So when you're a podcast editor or video editor, or whatever you're seeing, you sometimes edit out the ums and the clicks and the whatever based on the way the word looks. And I caught myself using just as a minimizer when I was introducing a guest. I've caught myself using it to describe things. I've used other words like little and small. I've noticed that in the caption tracks that I've created for myself, for my clients. And it's just so minimizing. It's not okay. Here's an example of something that I did that I regret and I'm correcting. And so about over a year ago, I was a co-contributor to a book for moms. It was a hundred moms and we wrote um, essays on motherhood. And then it came out and there was this big, you know, press with marketing and we had the images and the promo link. And I was a part of that and I definitely promoted it. But here's the weird thing. I didn't buy a copy, not even one copy. And then I kicked myself a couple months later. I'm like, oh, that's right. I have to buy a copy of my book. And I was supposed to go through this special process to get the, to, you know, to get the discount. I don't know, whatever it was, I didn't do it. And then I was going to months after that, add the author, you know, on my Amazon account, you can say you're an author and then it links to your book. And I thought, oh, I'll do that. I've seen other people do it. Why not? went through the process and there, I ran into a couple of snags, more than a couple. And I was in the middle of a deadline for clients and, and I went, you know what? I'm just a co-contributor. It's not really my book. <laughs> I got published. I wrote, I was a part of this. Well, it was a pretty long-term process with these other mothers and I totally minimized it. Many other people would have, and I saw them completely promote it, put it everywhere. They did amazing things with it. And I'm sure it helped them get speaking engagements, help them do more things and promote their business, their, their credibility, all of that, get more writing gigs, that kind of thing. So here I am. I just ordered the book <laughs> and I promised to come back on and share that with you. But like this is an example of what we do. And again, it's mental health, end of the mental health awareness thing. I'm just putting this out there because again, I just reused that word. I want to help make people aware of that word, especially women. Men use it too. I don't think they use it as often. Um, and I think that we are diminishing ourselves. We're diminishing other people as well. It gets to become such a habit that we use it as a modifier and it's a minimizer. And so I'm here today to just say, stop it. Don't do it. Language is so powerful in how we frame ourselves, the stories we tell ourselves and, and it all together creates this identity for who we are. And when we, and, and it reflects out to other people and broadcasts kind of how we perceive ourselves too. So we deserve better than that. All of us, men, women, whoever, let, I almost did it again. Stop doing it. No more. So bust the justs. And I'm going to show you guys, I have the, I'm going to try to bring it up here, the Facebook group. Um, see if I can find it here and show you if you, there it is. Woo, right over my head. <laughs> If you are on Facebook and you want to join this group, it's called the Just Busters group. And I want to give a shout out to one of the founders and they were at a podcasting event and they decided to create this group and her name, she coined it, is Emily Peck Prokop. Prokop. She is a female podcast editor. And Emily founded the group with Carrie Caulfield Eric, I believe is her name, and Jennifer Longworth. And you can go find that on Facebook if you want to join the group. I'm also more of a video. Well, I do both. 
video and podcast editing, but if you want to be in a nice place where we're working hard to um, be just busters, join that group, but you can do it in your own language and your own thoughts and the way you talk to other people. And that is my Mindset Monday video of the day. I'm going to come back. I'm going to do this again. I have been a long-term, lifelong um, personal growth junkie. And uh, hang on, let me just get rid of these. And I really want to do more of this because this is something that I'm thinking about, writing about, and doing things with every single day, but I'm not sharing it. And I need to do more of that. So if you like this, if you don't like it, whatever, <laughs> leave a comment, share if you like it, don't share if you don't. Um, but it's, this is my first one. Um, I would love to hear from you. All right. With that, I hope you have a great week and uh, I'll see you on the next one.